The 1300 gallon model of the Nutriplacer 2800 offers an active hydraulic system which provides us with, with several different features. Down pressure to the coulter bar while we're running through the field while allowing it to uh, the, the wings to float up and down while maintaining down pressure and also at, at end row turns being able to go wing to uh, provide additional clearance when we're when we're turning at the end of the field. But, but with that we have some requirements uh, that, that we, ha we have to meet. One of them uh, with our tractor we need a closed center hydraulic system because we're going to be running uh, in the field you know as we, as we go across the field uh, with that uh, hydraulic circuit in the detented position so we have pressure and flow available to the to the applicator available to the to the cylinders on the applicator so we need a closed center system and the other thing that we need is in the seven pin connector the center pin which is the number seven pin needs to be hot. We need power to that center pin because that is gonna provide power to a couple solenoid valves and a limit switch that's located on the left inner wing on the coulter bar. And that is gonna control uh, some of our unfold functions and also our gull wing at the end. And so if we don't have power to that center pin, the uh, system will not function correctly. So we're going to show you how it works when, when everything's working correctly. And then we're going to also going to show you a couple things that can go wrong. If we don't have power to the center pin or you know, possibly um, if we have too much hydraulic flow going to our unfold circuit. And so we'll look at a couple of those things. First, here's the proper fold and unfold sequence of the 1300 gallon 2800. In folding, the outer wings will fold first while it's in the lowered position. And that will minimize the height of the wings when it's folded. The 1300 gallon 2800 has a 12 foot 6 inch transport width and a 13 foot transport height. See when the uh, coulter bar comes to the top, it'll sit on the rest, and now it is completely folded. Now the unfold sequence, the outer wings will stay folded until the inner wings come down. And there is a cam lobe built into limit position switch that's located on the left inner wing cylinder that when the, when the coulter bar is unfolding, when that limit switch engages and closes, it will stop, and then a sequence valve then lets your outer wings unfold. That is the proper sequence for the fold and unfold on a 1300 gallon 2800. I've now unplugged the, the seven pin connector so we have no power going to the limit switch or the solenoid valves. And so when we don't have power as the inner wings unfold and now when the cam lobe on the on the left inner wing interacts with the limit position switch there's no power there there's nothing to to to, uh, to stop that wing so they're going to go all the way to the ground. They're going to go the ground, the, the, the uh, main frame is going to drop, and then the inner or then the outer wings will walk around when it's on the ground. If you have this situation, this is an indication that one of two things: either you don't have the seven pin connected to the tractor, or the tractor does not have power to the center pin of the seven pin connector. The other thing that will happen when you don't have power to the center pin. It also controls the goal wing on the end row turn operation. So when you raise the coulter bar at the end of the field, in normal operation where the center section and the wings come up and then the wings come up over center and, and, and provide a little bit of a goal wing and stop, if we don't have power there, the wings will not stop and they will continue to fold. So that's another indication 
that either your, your limit position switch is out of position or you do not have power to the switch and the solenoid valves. When you raise the coulter bar at the end of the, of the row, the mainframe and wings will lift and then the, the wings will come a little bit over center and provide a goal wing for additional clearance at the end of the, end of the field turn. Another thing that we need to watch for is that on some tractors with high capacity hydraulic systems, we need to turn down the flow on the control valve that you're using for your unfold circuit because it can overpower the sequence valve for the outer wing fold cylinders and make them unfold prematurely. You don't want those to unfold until the inner wings are unfolded and it, it engages the, the position switch and then the outer wing folds fold out. 